My name is Robert Ranitzky and in this video I will give you a quick review of the BenQ PV3200PT 4K screen. It's my first 4K screen and I'm really thrilled and I've been using it for a few weeks now and I've been using other brands as well as two monitor setups before but this being my first 4K screen I'm really blown away. It not only offers a gorgeous 4K resolution so you can actually see your full HD content and next to, next to it you can have panels and palettes open in After Effects for example as well as have your timeline open to see everything despite having the full HD 100% full quality resolution. Next to having the, the amazing 4K resolution you will also have fantastic color accuracy. This monitor comes factory pre-calibrated so you can basically unpack it and you have fantastic color accuracy. Of course you can use tools like the Spider to calibrate it to your specific needs but frankly the, the settings they came out of the box as they are were working really well for my needs. So the monitor itself is of absolutely high build quality. Everything feels good. The whole screen is fully adjustable so it even has his metal stand um, where it sits on. It's fully adjustable, it can swivel, it can rotate. Um, you can tuck the little puck, the hot key puck in here. Um, the whole base is, is, a, is a metal stand that is covered with this nicely textured plastic. Um, I have it on this little uh, aluminum stand where I have my Elgato uh, Thunderbolt dock beneath it so that I can actually um, have quick connections uh, like USB and Thunderbolt but also my monitor switch so I like to keep things tidy that's why I have it on this little stand. You don't need to have this on the stand but um, it allows for a bit more flexibility but you can just easily um, pull it down and I have it usually at this height. This whole screen feels and looks nice like a really high quality product. The tools that I use mostly are Cinema 4D and After Effects. These are my, my two most commonly used tools and to have such a big resolution of, of 4K available really allows to, to focus on your work. So as you can see here I have a full HD comp playing back and I have a lot of space left and right left to see either my effect settings or uh, other footage elements and even have a pretty big timeline so I can see all my keyframes and adjust everything. So having, having this enormous amount of, of, of pixels and, and, and space really, really helps you to be more productive. The other tool that I use a lot is, as I said, Cinema 4D. And the same thing, it's, it's optimized for a single, single screen. So all the panels can be fully adjusted. I used to have two screens before. Um, a while ago, but I, I have the feeling that uh, modern applications are better optimized for a single screen. So uh, it works just perfectly fine. I can have my, my four view set up here and um, toggle between those different views and, and just have enough space to see all my, my textures, um, objects, layers, everything. So there's, there's tons of space to, to, to work with um, even if you, if you use the, the single mode, the single view mode. Um, the graphics card is powerful enough to power everything here, so thankfully. One of the things that I really like is the hotkey puck that you can actually um, nicely tuck under your screen or also just place it anywhere you like. And this has actually three modes predefined, so one, two, three keys, and you can just click those keys to activate uh, different color modes. So for example, one is the Rec. 709, uh, button 2 is the EBU mode and number 3 is the SMTP EC mode. So I can easily toggle between those color modes just for the click of a button. So of course you can also um, press the, the built-in touch controls. So you have a range of 5 buttons in total and you can choose any of the, of the color modes in here as well. But I think it's much much easier to, to actually have the color, uh, the, the hotkey puck in front of you to change any of the colors. Uh, obviously you can also go ahead and uh, click on the middle button which is OK which enters the, the main menu and you can just select any of the modes and um, manually change some of the, the more detailed and advanced settings. And um, one thing that I found by the way uh, after unpacking uh, the monitor was that I had some, some, some artifacts when moving windows really quickly and I found out that this setting was set to on by default. It's the AMA setting which stands for Advanced Motion Accelerator. 
I, I switched it off and I had better results without it. So um, other than that, I just had it the way it came out of the box and it worked just perfectly fine. One small but very commonly used feature is the option of connecting multiple sources to your, to your monitor. So actually I have connected a PC to the screen as well. So I mainly work on Mac, but if I want to switch to my PC to check something, I can just easily access the hotkey pack, the input menu, and just then um, toggle the screen to see my PC. If I want to go back, all I have to do is just again, click on the input source and choose display port, and I'm back working on my other machine. In retrospect, this monitor has been a real game changer for my workflow. Having the gorgeous 4K resolution, next to the great color accuracy with color modes specifically designed for Rec. 709 as well as sRGB helped my workflow tremendously. So if you're using tools like After Effects, Photoshop, Cinema 4D, or if you're working in the broadcast or motion graphics industry, you should really check out this monitor as it really helps your productivity.